What's up guys, Max from MaxRips here, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of this. This is an Evolution miter saw stand, and we're going to be testing it out with my Harbor Freight uh, miter saw. Um, I apologize, the garage is a little bit of a mess right now, but uh, that means there's more cool videos coming for you guys. So first things first, we have to get this unboxed and assembled. Um, then we'll mount the miter saw to it and take it outside. I have a little project in the backyard we need to knock out today. That will be perfect for testing out this miter saw. Now, I actually bought this refurbished straight from Evolution themselves. I'll provide a link down below to this saw. Um, this is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own Freedom Bucks. Uh, this is just my honest review of the tool. I really like their um, chop saw stand, and so I got this one as well, just so that I had stable cutting platforms for my two main saws that I use. And so, we're gonna get this unboxed, assembled, and go outside and start working on this project. So here it is fully assembled. Obviously we've got a pretty warped board in there. That's what we're gonna to use to replace it. All in all, it's very stable. I think I'm gonna to have to do some more adjusting on these locking mechanisms to make it a little smoother to put it on and off, but it's very, very stable and it has a nice wide uh, setup that I really like. So it's like, you know, very easy to, to move stuff across the board. Um, so, that's fully assembled. Now it's time to do some cutting. Let me bring you guys over and show you uh, where I screwed up. So here's a perfectly good example of why contained, even contained fire pits, you shouldn't leave them burning uh, through the night when you go to sleep. So as you can see, this is how I have a base. This primarily acts as an ash catcher and it does a really good job of that. However, it managed to get real hot during the night and burn a hole. So we're gonna reuse as much of these boards as we can. Um, and we're going to um, basically replace the wood pieces here for today. So we're gonna unscrew some of these boards, we're gonna cut them, and uh, we're going to just refabricate this. And then I've got some concrete blocks to prevent this from happening again as a uh, heat insulation. We also need to see if we can find a scrap piece of wood to install to uh, patch the cross beam that burnt through. So first things first, I'm gonna get the drill and pull all this stuff out. So you can see here, we got everything removed, cut back. Um, basically I'm gonna use two two by four patches on these cross beams that got burnt, and then another two by four to patch the one that got burnt all the way through. So I believe they're 18, 18 and 29 to cover the width. Then we're just going to use some three inch screws, put them in, that'll give us back our structure. And then uh, we'll just put in the boards in a way that, that fits um, by chopping off the dead stuff. 
So over here, we've got some scrap two by four. We're gonna get it on the saw and see how it feels. So here's our final patch job. Um, we're gonna end up throwing some concrete blocks on this in the fire pit back on top. So I'm not worried about getting uh, paint for it, but I need to do find some at some point. But I didn't end up replacing that fourth piece because I didn't have enough lumber. And the cost of lumber right now, I only bought one fucking $10 board instead of two. Um, let's go back to what this video is actually about, which is the saw stand. It is stable. It is easy to move around. Um, when the saw is not on it, it's pretty level, pretty balanced. I checked it with a level earlier. Um, all in all, for about 85 bucks delivered to my door, I'm super happy. Um, check out my other uh, Evo table saw review for the uh, chop saw stand. And uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you use these or a different brand. If you've got a favorite, I want to hear about it. Uh, and make sure to subscribe. Helps me know the channel's growing in the right direction. That's all for today. Love you guys. Peace.